I first visited the centre four years ago, but I didn't start coming regularly until I was released from jail, when I was homeless, hopeless, and in a kind of limbo. I had returned to using drugs, but at the same time I knew I didn't want to return to the using lifestyle and all that goes with it. This land between two lives can be very lonely, and I found myself visiting the centre, not just to have a shot, but because while I was there, that empty, hollow feeling in my chest was eased. You got to see what I considered were the worst parts of me. You knew I used drugs, you saw me injecting, which is normally such a secretive and shameful activity. You saw me when I was stoned, and you saw me when I was in withdrawals, and yet, through all that, you were unfailingly kind and non-judgmental. These little pockets of time, when I was not alone, sitting in silence, feeling like a failure with no future, were a blessed relief. Sometimes I would even visit when I had no drugs and pretend to have a shot. So I'd go in and just inject water. And I know that sounds peculiar, but I wanted connection with humans so badly. And this was the only place that I knew I would find it. These are the threads of reconnection that so many people who use drugs desperately lack and that can be near impossible to find elsewhere. The art exhibition that you so generously organise every year encouraged me to keep painting. Seeing my paintings actually hanging in a gallery at the 2019 exhibition remains to this day the most personally meaningful moment of my life. So, for all of that, I thank you. And if ever you have a crappy day at work, as I'm sure you do, I hope you remember that you're doing so much more than just handing out syringes. You make a meaningful difference to your clients and you have impacted my life in ways I could have never imagined on my first visit. With much gratitude, Megan Moses.